So you want to make a reptile like scaly material. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again. Taking a look at another material. We've done materials before. I just split my window into two by dragging from this corner and just opening it and changing it to the shader editor, obviously. There we go. Alright, so now that we have this, um, this ball here, I can go ahead and select our white material um, and we'll just go ahead and hit Shift A on our keyboard and uh, click search there and we'll add in uh, many 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 different things but for now we'll just do the Voronoi texture we we'll type in VO to get Voronoi um, and then we'll put that right there then we we'll hit shift a once again and we'll type in noise and grab a noise texture boom pretty simple so far we we'll hit B to box select both of them hit G to move them over and a mouse button to zoom in and out and to click pan around all right there we go so I'm gonna go ahead and hit shift a once again hit uh, search and now we're gonna type in math there's math involved, but it, it's not what you think. I'm going to go ahead and click that down, and then once we have that, I'm going to go ahead and hook the color uh, of the Verano into the first value, and then the color of the noise texture into the second value of the math shader that says add. We're going to change it from add. We're going to leave it on add, actually. We're going to leave that the way it is. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and hit Shift A. We're going to add a couple more things. Uh, search, and we'll add a bump right there. We'll grab bump. We'll hook the value of the add shader into the height of the bump, and then we'll uh, just plug this bump into the normal of the principled shader. And you can see it is uh, working. Ooh, that's the uh, that's the wrong that's the wrong one though. But that's fine. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll just brighten this color, and we'll put this guy on there instead. I don't want it in the middle one. There we go. There. That's what I want to do. All right, so that's working. There we go. Just flip them around. Now we have this cool-looking uh, texture. We got to do some things to it, though, first. You see it's it's coming along fairly decently, but we still got a lot to do. I'll go ahead and hit B to move these, uh, and then G. Ooh, no, and then and then G to move them. For the Voronoi, I think I want to do something like, uh, was it 7? Seven? 7, I think. I think that's right. We'll all, this is trial and error of the numbers, of course. We'll go ahead, and for the noise texture, we'll go for a scale around 17. And detail of like three, um, and a little bit of distortion, just a little bit, not a lot, just like 1.4 maybe. That might even be a little bit too much, but we'll see later on. All right, so now we have that all good and ready to go. You can see that we're having uh, we're having some problems with how pretty it is. So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna go ahead and go to the principal shader here. Just turn up a little bit of that subsurface, uh, 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 a little bit of that subsurface right there. Uh, maybe somewhere around 1.48 and then in the render tab we'll go ahead and go to subsurface scattering and then just check that on once we do that we have a little bit of better looking stuff going on here but we have some more stuff to do this uh, noise texture might be too high so we'll, we'll change this down the noise down to 7 as well yeah that looks much much better I'm also going to turn on ambient occlusion um, yeah there we go and screen space reflections as well just because it looks nice alright so uh, with that done I want to invert the bump so we we'll hit invert right there on the bump node uh, to make them poke out instead of go in which uh, looks much better um, and then once we do that I'm gonna go ahead and we will hit B to box select the bump add and Verona and noise textures drag a box over that hit shift D to dupe oop I duplicated the principal shader too we don't need that so we can just delete that um, and then B G Shift D to duplicate, like I mentioned. Um, now, I want to move these two over by hitting B and then G. <laughs> a lot of moving today. And now, instead of the Veronoi noise, we can get rid of both of these. We don't need those. Um, we can go ahead and hit Shift A, and we'll add in two different textures. We'll add in a magic texture, uh, second. And the other one will be a, what is it? What do I want here? What was it What was it called again? I can't remember which one it is. It is, oh, wave. Yeah, that's right. So, we have a wave texture and a magic texture. Now, I'm going to hook these up the same exact way we did the Verona and the noise, just one into there and two into there. Um, now we have that done, I'm going to change the scale of the wave to six, I think. Uh, let's just fix this up real quick. Um, we'll duplicate this, uh, oh no, we need one more thing. Hit Shift A and we'll type in mix and then we'll grab a mix RGB, not a mix shader, we need the RGB. So there we go, we'll grab that plop that in there we'll change this uh, this one to color two and then our wave Ver and Veronoi will be uh, number one so we'll hook the bump up into number one there and you should be able to see we have uh, some stuff going on over here there we go so now we have our wave magic Veronoi and noise texture going at the same time 
Um, you might be getting a little bit of lag right now, depending on what's going on with your computer, but uh, that's all right because uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna power through it. Um, so uh, this wave texture is way too big, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. And we're gonna turn that down. I think we need more subsurf, so let's go ahead and turn some more subsurf up. There we go. That's looking much better. Somewhere around uh, four, exactly, exactly four. Wow. All right. So we have uh, uh, somewhere around four subsurf. It's looking pretty good so far. What I want to do now is we'll go ahead and, and change some of these settings to really get a better feel for what's going on here. Uh, the scale for the wave texture should be pretty low. It's just there to give a little bit of that ripple um, that you're seeing right there. Uh, we'll turn the distortion up just a little bit, just because I don't want perfect bands. Um, we'll turn the detail up as well. Actually, we'll turn the detail down. Yeah, we'll turn the detail down a little bit. Um, and the detail scale, obviously, will go down a little bit as well. So, for the magic texture, I'm going to leave the depth on 2, turn the scale up. And this is where you're going to see we're going to start getting those uh, reptilian-like scales, which are pretty sweet. Um, so you can go either you can go really small with this or you can go really big with this because it looks good either way to be honest with you. I love that, but I also really like uh, like that. So that looks really cool too. Um, but yeah, it just depends on what you're going for. Distortion, a little bit of distortion, not a lot, just so we have a little bit of those uh, little uh, dots in the center there. I will turn this scale back down. I don't want that much distortion. That's too much. So we'll do, what is that, point 0.3? Yeah, we'll do point 0.3 distortion. That looks good to me. Looks uh, chicken. It looks like, a ch uh, like, like chicken skin. That's what it looks like. We'll go ahead and change it from 7 to like uh, 15. And the noise scale, we will go ahead and turn up as well. But we're going to need less distortion on this because I can see some weird stuff going on. I want this to be more detailed. There we go. So we'll turn that distortion down a little bit because we're getting a little bit of like water -like looking effect. With the wave texture here, that's also too big, or maybe it's too small. You know, you can really go, you can go really small with this. That's all you got. We'll go ahead and do something like that. I think the distortion for this isn't up high enough. We'll do something like that. Yeah, maybe we'll rotate a little bit and put a little bit of detail in there. Yeah, all right, that that's looking much better. That's looking much better. So we have some really rough looking. Um, nasty skin already over here so what we can do now is we have the choice of either to keep building on this which which is just probably be too much so we can go ahead and just finish this up um, really quickly here I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of things with the principal shader we'll turn uh, specular almost all the way up we'll turn roughness almost all the way down uh, we will turn clear coat all the way up sheen tint all the way up and of course sheen uh, wait for it there we go and sheen all the way up as well Clear coat roughness can stay where it is. Now we have some pretty shiny stuff going on. If I were to unhook our uh, material, you can see we had this very nice, plain, uh, shiny material here with some subsurf on it, subsurf on it, which looks great. We'll turn the roughness up a little bit because it might be a bit much. We'll give a little bit of metallic just for a more harder type edge. So that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and uh, and plug our color from our mix RGB back into the normal. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, f and change this from we can we can actually do that a couple through a couple of these. We, these don't have to be add. I think this bottom one can go on less than and it'll look pretty good uh, that way as well. So they don't have to stay on add. Um, just a little tip. Like I said, you can go ahead and play around with these to get the the best di desired effect. Yeah, this is what I had it on. That's what I was missing. Um, so this this bottom one has to be on less than. It looks much better. Um, than before so yeah this top one can also you know you know you can you can play around with these put them on power power usually does some pretty cool things but uh, but yeah so that's gonna be the base and you know most of it is just uh, customization from there you can do what you feel you can do what you like I like I like that it looks pretty cool pretty uh, reptilian uh, scaly looking yeah I love it not, not necessarily scaly but definitely reptilian looks pretty cool and pretty sweet uh, you can also use this for a rock shader if you take all the subsurf off of this Take all the subsurface off. You got a pretty nice rock right there. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, that looks great. Um, we can also go ahead and just tint this just a little brown, and you got a really nice rock there. Pretty cool. So this material is uh, is really really uh, really versatile actually. So like I said, just pop that subsurf back in, put that back to a whitish blue. Maybe you can even go green or yellow with this. Maybe something like uh, something like that. Yeah. Now we got that nasty looking skin back again reptile like flesh I don't know but yeah this material is really cool I love making these random materials with you guys um, hopefully you learned something new in today's video I'll see you guys in the next tutorial but until then bye bye